Hey guys, it is Friday here in the Philippines and we are going to do another mini GT unboxing. Kind of like our weekend showcase video, uh, but it's going to be an unboxing and review. Still yet kind of like showcasing a couple cars. And because it is the weekend like showcase video supposedly, I'm going to go do go ahead and do two of them instead of just one. Um, I know I said I was going to give each car their 15 minutes of fame. But um, it seems that these two kind of correspond really great together because it kind of gives like that theme of like, I don't know if everybody's heard of them, but the Blackpink Korean girl band. It's what I'm doing today is two GTRs, one in black and one in pink. So kind of a cool little theme if you're familiar with the group. I don't know their music. I just know the girls. So... I figured it would kind of be a cool theme. So anyways, um, this is the latest two releases from Mini GT of the LBWK GTR with the Silhouette Works kit. Uh, running both spoilers. The pink one has the original traditional uh, three pedestal spoiler with the end caps and the center pedestal. Then the other one is kind of like an IndyCar style, like high wing, really wide with two center pedestals so um besides that it's the same body kit so we get to see both of them in action today um and also there's another one coming up is same thing the silhouette works kit it's a metallic blue i have it on the way should be here actually maybe this weekend so we'll be taking a look at it fairly soon too but these are the last two that i have gotten my hands on and We'll start, uh, let's go ahead and start with the black one because it came out first. So, let's take a look at him. So, this is your LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GTRR. Matte black LBWK with the Nissan Advan livery. Then on the top side, you have collector number 291, where to find Mini GT online, where to find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This in cap has Mini GT, 164 scale. This in cap has Liberty Walk and their symbol. Um, bottom side has your age restrictions and choking hazards. Then the back side of the box. This is where all your licensing is for Nissan. And also LB Holdings and TSM Model, your TSM Model Holographic Sticker. And then this one uh, is LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR Version 2 Matte Black. And Version 2 is going to probably be the wing. Uh, before they weren't saying that, like on the shell and on the white one with the LBWK livery, it wasn't saying version 2. It didn't say anything actually about the wing. Uh, so now maybe they're starting to indicate that. So in the right-hand drive, to be honest with you, I don't recall being able to get this in the left hand, but it may have been because I know uh, Muhammad, he had mentioned in the comments of our last video with the um, gray LBWK uh, Fighter Works Huracan. It was available in right hand, which I knew that they were taking pre-orders for it, but I didn't see it available here. But he said he got his in right hand drive. So uh, anyways, thanks for the info, uh, Muhammad, on that one. So I uh, didn't realize that they were out yet. So good to know. Uh, but this one, once again, kind of up in the air. Don't know if you can get it in right hand or and left hand, if it was just right hand. I would assume that you could get it in both because this is not like a country exclusive. This is like a cross the board international release. So I would assume it's available in both. And so anyways, let's get him out and take a look at him. So one of my favorites from mini gt of this lbw no not lbwk well i guess it is lbwk silhouette works kit is the matte black one that has no real livery on it a couple small co-sponsors and the usual imagine all the people living life in peace for beatles phrase across the door um that is one of my favorites and it has the traditional side mount side cap pedestals with the center pedestal spoiler kind of like the nissan trd or not nissan but uh toyota yeah the nissan trd <laughs> so yeah no toyota the trd toyota racing department um 
wing, like on the spoil uh, super is that style wing. So that's the one I like. That's the one the pink one's running. So we'll take a look at that. Although this one's pretty cool too. It just kind of looks like, I don't know, the Batmobile or something with this big wing on it. It's very wide, wider than any other LBWK wing. As you can see, it even surpasses the quarter panels of the car. Not much, but a little. It may be even with the flare from the rear silhouette wide body. But yeah, it is a very, very wide wing. Looks cool though. I'm not complaining. Just prefer the other one, the version one wing on this kit. Um, so as you can see, not much going on on the side. Not a lot of livery. Uh, so let's zoom in just a hair bit here. So then you have your HKS on the rear flare to go with the Advan. And then you have your Bride on the front flare, your Nissan. So I guess this would be kind of like a pop racing streetcar with race livery. Uh, then you have your LB performance uh, shade, like banner sticker across the windshield. And as you can see, it is right-hand drive. Your LBWK, Liberty Walk, Nissan. Across the hood and front header panel, acrylic headlight lenses, as usual. The Kennard spoiler wings, your silver intercooler, which is cool. Um, split chin spoiler. Kinda, it's not really split, this is kind of dropped on the two sides. The center is raised, I should say. Uh, then, just the overall like appearance of this kit, do love it. Uh, I still favor, I think, the version 1 body kit, but this one is a close contender. Version 2 kit's okay. Um, I don't know. I, I do like it, but it would probably be the least favorite of all three LBWK kits available from Mini GT. And this kit, no matter what wing it's running, it always has this ducktail. It's part of the kit, I think. Part of the silhouette kit itself. Uh, I'm not even sure if I would call that a dual wing because the LBWK version 1 kit, if you have the high wing and the ducktail, it will say with of uh, wing variant 1 and 2. So it's indicating that you have both. This one does not do that. And as you can see, the LBWK on the bottom of the wing. Advan Nissan across the rear panel, the LBWK Liberty Walk plate, red acrylic tail light lenses, and just blacked out exhaust tips, metal base with button head Phillips screws, treaded rubber tires, and I would say these are Rohana wheels. I think. I think that's what all the wheels on the uh, silhouette kits are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the six spokes are considered Rohanas or just these ones. Um, and these ones are nice, uh, but it almost, I don't know, gives it an appearance of a fatter sidewall of tire, but it's not. If you can see, it's still like a rubber band sidewall. It's just that the wheel itself has a really, really thick lip. And I'm not sure what to think of that still yet. Because the metallic purple one, you can really see it heavy on that one. Because it has silver wheels. And it almost looks in some ways like it has a white wall tire. Because the lip of the wheel is so, so thick. So I'm still up in the air about these wheels. I prefer the six spoke um, that came on only two of these so far, the Shell release and the John Player release. Uh, so that six book is rare. It's only appeared three times, and we're going to do the fourth time coming soon. Uh, it is on the Liquid Molly A90 Supra. So cool to see them back. I do dig that wheel. It's very conservative, plain six spoke, nothing special, but it just looks really good on these cars. So, Let's go to the pink one. So this one is collector number 281. Where to find Mini GT online. Then your LB Silhouette Works Nissan 35 GTRR Class. Uh, then your Mini GT, Scale 64 on this end cap. Your 
warning, some choking hazards, age restrictions on the bottom, LB, Liberty Walk on this end cap, and then on the back side, TSM holographic license sticker, your Nissan licensing, and your LB Holdings licensing, and then you have your LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GTRR version 1. And as I said, they did not have this before, and it is class. And as you see, there's no LHD or RHD here. It was only available in one release, as far as I know. Um, usually if it's indicated, then it was only available, or it was available in both. But I don't know if that's always the theory to go by or not. So anyways, let's get him out and take a look at him. So this will be the fourth pink LB WK Nissan GTR to date, and there is one Panda. So you have the first release, which was a Toy East exclusive. It was a Hong Kong exclusive, came in the acrylic display case, the Lego style like display case, and then I'm gonna get it to focus a little better again. There we go. And then there was the uh, one that is very elusive for most, number 54, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness uh, pink one. Then it was a Malaysian exclusive, I believe. Then you have your uh, international release, the Pink Pig. Uh, that was the version 2 kit. And now we have a silhouette kit with the uh, pink paint job. But this is a different shade. This is almost like a... I don't know, purplish tint to it. I don't know how, but I turned on the lighting on this camera, I think. So it's a little bit more pastel in the camera than what it is in person. But anyways, this is the first silhouette kit in pink, and it does look really cool. Um, it would even be cooler if it had the six spokes, in my opinion. <laughs> so anyways, um, very nice kit. And as you can see, this is the traditional wing. And as I was mentioning, still has the ducktail here. And so going side by side, you'll get to look at both wings that are available on the silhouette kit. And there is your first one and then the second one. And as I said, that second one is mammoth. Man, it is very wide. So anyways, uh, I do like the first release the best, but the wide one is kind of cool too because it just gives it that, I don't know, like, superhero car appearance like a batmobile look in my opinion <laughs> so anyways back to the pink one so you have this class paint job not sure what that is to indicate then you have some uh well actually you do have the original catchphrase imagine all the people living life in peace but it's almost on the rocker panel so it's wasn't so transparent before then usually all the co-sponsor livery and things as usual uh, then it is a right-hand drive car, and it does have rubber mirrors, as usual, that are very durable, which is cool. And then acrylic headlight lenses, and nice GTR emblem in the grill with the red bezel. Your silver intercooler, and then, once again, the Rohana wheels with a very wide lip. Then... The red acrylic tail light lenses with some more livery for Liberty Walk, LB Performance and such on the rear bumper cover. And this one also has blacked out exhaust tips. And you have your rear diffuser. And as I said, it's pretty much the same kit. The only thing different, like version 1 and version 2, is that wing. So... Actually, let me try to zoom out a little bit so we can get a better perspective on it. So as you can see from the side stance, they're both the same kits. No difference. It's just that wing. Usually they would have version 1 and version 2 wing, not version 1, version 2 kit, because usually that indicates a whole different kit. As uh, going back to like the version 1 kit where you have, um, I forget how they called it, like Wing Variant 1, and that was your uh, High Wing, and then the 
Number two was the ducktail. And then number three wing was the rear mount, like IndyCar wing, but that's only available in the version two kit, uh, at least from Mini GT. Now for the one-to-one -one stuff from Liberty Walk, it may be different. But anyways, um, this is kind of cool though. I dig the pink cars. Don't know why, but I do favor the pink ones, they look pretty cool. So I can't wait to get this one back to the States with the other ones because that's where they are at now. Once again, wish they were here to take some pics, just like I said with the gray Huracan. Wish the gray Aventador was here to do some pics. So anyways, this is it, guys. This is your pink and black releases. Um, let's zoom back in on them. And, well, that's... Then, there we go. So, uh, we'll be back again, maybe this weekend, not sure, uh, or early next week with another Mini GT unboxing, of course. Um, I still have the Liquid Molly uh, A90 here at my disposal right now. Then, on the way is the Pagani Zonda and the uh, Martini A90, the Burgundy uh, R32, Nismo, and then uh, the Metallic Blue R35 LBWK. Also soon to come is the Rollback Isuzu, and then the Defender 90 Christmas Edition finally just hit the Philippines today, so I should be getting it maybe over the weekend. Also the new Kaido House Orange 510 Pro Street, I may be getting, I'm not sure about the red one yet, I'm not a big fan of that orange and black and red and black livery, I don't know, uh, so I'm not even sure about the orange one yet, so still indecisive. Also have the Golf 4 GT coming up, and they, um, I forget the other one, maybe it's the blue Miata, I think. So, yeah, we have a lot of Mini GT stuff coming up over the next week or two. So, uh, I'll try to get all those videos in before I go back to the States. It should be maybe later this month, I hope, if everything's taken care of with our paperwork. Uh, and maybe the beginning of February. So, we once we get back, we may have to take a week or two off from YouTube to get settled in and such and uh, see how the Wi-Fi and everything is there. So anyways, um, yeah, that's why I'm trying to cram all these videos in and get you guys up to date and current with the mini GT stuff while I can. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. I left an icon here on the left for another mini GT video that we did. And I left an icon here on the right for you to subscribe. If you have not done so yet, please do that and support our channel. Uh, so enjoy your weekend, guys. And I may see you again this weekend. If not, it will be early next week. Thanks for watching.